Today we are doing my first double review, and so let's jump right into the review. We're going to start from old to now, and here's the one I was a little bit most excited for, the Carnegie Tylosaurus. Um, I'm pretty sure this figure is, like, really rare, and um, I'm going to go over paint schemes first. So, I really like the paint scheme. It starts from a black, then just like, sort of instantly stops into a green, and then fades into a white. I don't know if this paint scuff, but I have like a little bit of like, like, you know, just like, insta white right there. I don't know if that's paint scuff, or that was just mismanufactured, but yeah. And then so, mine has a little bit of paint scuffs on the flippers. They don't bother me. And then there's one on the tip of the snout. They don't bother me. I did get this off of eBay, so what do you expect? And this figure has a yellow eye with a black pupil with black around it. Probably not, never going to show up on the camera in a long time. Um, then it has... I'm pretty sure individually sculpted teeth, and then individually sculpted second jaw. If you can see the... Let's try. Hopefully you can see those. And then... It says, um, Carnegie Tethosaurus, 2008, year I was born. Safari LTD, Miami, Florida, made in China. And the barcode number is 680. And then, so, I'm gonna get on to size. Let's get my tape ruler out. Just measure this guy. He is, if you, wait. So, if you're just wanting the figure size, it's um about one foot. And then if, I mean, if it were like completely stretched out, no. I would say it would be about 13, almost 13 inches. Like, you know, 12 and a half inches. So it's completely stretched out. Or 13 inches. Because there's a lot of curvature in this figure. And then, now I'm going to get on to accuracy. Um... This figure is a slimer. I do not know, oh, like, I'm not a, um, expert in prehistoric, uh, sea reptiles. Or sea reptiles. Um, I'm just gonna go off of the newer one. Compared to the newer one, which I'm pretty sure is more accurate, it has a way more bulky jaw, so I'm, I'm just gonna say that something needed to be improved wait yeah and then so here's one that I know that is inaccurate compared to the new one it this the new one has a shark like tail which is a little more accurate than the you know just like paddle like one in this guy. So, wait, maybe this could help you seeing the eyes. Yeah, there you go. And then, yeah, so. Um, I'm gonna go on to the, this one was made 2008, 
and I'm going to the new 2017 Titlosaurus. So this is the 2017 Titlosaurus. And just like the other one, I'm going to start on Paint Job. Paint Job? Um, some people have a complaint on it. That this was a big um, sea reptile. And this isn't accurate because then it would just be easily spotted in the water hunting. So, I'm pretty sure the, the um, paint job is inaccurate. But I personally like the color scheme. I think it's really cool. But it's not too accurate, but I like it. And it goes from a whiter, white orangish underbelly up into this dark orangish tiger stripes. And then, it heck, and then this might not pick up on camera, but it has this brown going down the length of the top, which I think is nice. And then I'm going to show you eye detail with my magnifying glass. Because, see, and you can see the inner jaw, which is accurate in both of the figures have. And then this one has um, completely individually sculpted teeth. And, yeah, this one's, like, in better condition than my other one. Because this one's, like, brand new. The other one is not. So... Yeah, I'm going to take off the tag, so then. Okay, so then, next I'm going to go into accuracy. This, this figure's, I, I would say, really accurate. I'm not a sea, um, sea reptile expert, but. So, the only inaccuracy I know is the paint scheme. And there might be a little bit of shrink wrapping, but I don't know. And, um, yeah, that's all I know. Um, let's go into, and, um, I wanted to show you this compared to the other ones. This one has scales. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see them, but it's completely covered in scales, like small ones, not big ones. So, oh, and it has a forked tongue. I'll try getting it to. It won't do it that way. Yeah, it has a little bit of forked tongue, which is accurate, I'm pretty sure. And so, now I'm going to do a size. For this Tylosaur. It's about nine and a half inches. And if it was completely stretched out, it would probably be 11 inches. So. Yeah, and then I'll put them side by side. And so... That's them size scale directly up to them, up to them each other. I'll just get views. Oh, um, he has his barcode on his front flipper. He has them right by um the cloaca. So, yeah, and both of them have a cloaca. So. so. I highly recommend these two figures. I really like them. So, I would give this figure a 9.5. And then I really like this figure, so I'll give it I want to give it a 9.5, but it's little it has its own accuracies so I'll make it I'll just make it 9.5 because I really like the figure because I'm pretty sure they all this one has its flaws and so it's, it's go 
I mean, it's a paint job. So, yeah. Um, so, like, comment, subscribe, and see you later. And, like, comment, subscribe for more. And see you later. And this is my longest video I've ever done. 12 minutes and...